The ACLU of New Hampshire and some people who live in a small community are challenging the removal of signs from private property. That might seem like a small matter to some, but for the people involved, this is really about showing their town will not tolerate prejudice. Newsletter's Beth McAvoy explains. Signs are everywhere you look, but in the small town of Newington, a controversy is stirring over this one. We had signs placed um, on this side of the road going down. It's a matter of pride, pride signs that is, promoting the pride parade that happened back in June. So we placed uh, one sign here on the corner. Uh, my neighbor did. Stayed up for maybe a week and a half, maybe two weeks. The sign was pulled by a town employee on June 19th without any communication as to why. More signs were put up, all on private property except for two. Within hours, they were once again gone. Patterson spotted the town employee pulling the signs. He, re he said that he was just doing what he was told. Patterson went to the town hall. He says no one there could give him a straight answer. They really didn't have an idea of if the signs could be out or not. The ACLU of New Hampshire is now involved. It sent the town a letter calling the sign ordinance unconstitutional. It's the selective enforcement of signs. Um, there have been signs put up uh, promoting uh, Seacoast soccer leagues that have been on school property, town property that have not been removed. Town Administrator Martha Roy declined to go on camera, but she did talk to me. She said the signs were pulled simply because they were in violation of the town sign ordinance. She admitted that it's a strict ordinance, but says it's regularly enforced and not selectively done as the ACLU of New Hampshire and Patrick Patterson state. If they're going to decipher what signs to pull, they need to be consistent on all of the signs. Some, but not all of the signs are back up on private property with tape covering the date of the pride parade that has since passed. Martha Roy tells me this now makes them permissible. Having those signs pulled, um, it just it, it feels, uh, feels disrespectful for us. Uh, it feels disrespectful for a lot of people. Um, it raises questions to, for a lot of people within our community, uh, especially members of the LGBT community. Town officials say their lawyer is now working to respond to the ACLU letter. In Newington, Beth McAvoy, News Center, Maine.